Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let us try to understand one very important optimization which we can implement for Snowflake external table to improve the query performance. Okay, so most of the time what we do that we implement one materialized view on top of our Snowflake external table and the view will store the external table data in the Snowflake system only so that again and again it no need to go to S3 for fetching the data, right? So obviously materialized view along with external table can improve the efficiency or query performance. But apart from materialized view, if your data is partitioned in the external stage, then you can implement one more tuning to improve the query performance. And what is that? Let us try to understand, okay? So in this particular case, we are having our external stage pointing to one S3 bucket. The bucket name is Iris Setup, okay? Within that, there is a folder. Within the folder, suppose the data is stored in partition format. Now, whenever we observe this structure in Hive or in Athena, then we generally think that if the data is partitioned based on year, then we can implement the partitioning concept while creating the Hive table in the DDL only. That way, only that much data will be scanned what we will be putting in the filter condition as year value, right? That way, the other data components will not be scanned and because the total scan area or total amount of data, how much it is scanning as that amount is reducing due to partition. So obviously overall, the query will be faster and cost also will be less, right? So that concept we have seen in Hive or Athena. Now let's see the same concept in case of Snowflake, how it is optimizing or how it is improving the query efficiency, right? So here what I will do first in the Snowflake system, I will make sure that it is not using any cached data. So for this session, I am disabling cache, right? And then here I am dropping a database if it exists. I basically want to create a fresh database. So here I am creating the database S3 to Snowflake. And here I am using that particular database. Now here we are creating an external stage pointing to this particular S3 bucket. Okay. And for authentication, we are using access key, secret key based authentication. But in industries, as we already discussed several times, that IAM role based authentication is done. Obviously, you can implement the same. I'll be providing the link of my previous video where I explained how to set up the IAM role based authentication. So here we are creating the external stage pointing to this particular S3 bucket. And then here, if I execute list command pointing to this particular folder, actually, this is the folder name unloading item. And then here within that the folders are there within those folders our actual data in CSV format it is available right. So those names it is basically showing here if you see first S3 colon slash slash then bucket name then unloading folder name then within that ER within that CSV GZ file is there okay. Now here to load the data in our external table we need a file format so here I am creating a CSV file format which is very simple. I am mentioning you need to skip the header part because for CSV the first line is header. We don't want to put that in table. And in type is CSV we are mentioning the field delimiter comma and all other default properties we are configuring and creating the CSV file format. Okay. Now here what I am doing, I am creating an external table how we generally do. That is basically mentioning the column name, then its data type and then from the value column, which is basically nothing but one variant data type in case of external table. From that using key value pair, we are extracting different different values and then we are typecasting and loading that for that particular column. As simple as that. Okay. So this is a common format how we generally create our snowflake external table. If you have worked on external table, then I hope this is a very familiar DDL to you. Okay. Here we are mentioning the location. If you see the location, we are mentioning up to stage. So our external stage is pointing to the bucket level, ID setup. So ID setup is basically this layer. Okay. Within that, we are having this particular unloading folder. So here, while creating the external table, here we are mentioning along with external stage slash unloading item. That particular folder also we are mentioning and we are configuring the file format, what we just now created. Okay. So I will create this table, execute the query and then let me execute limit 10 on this particular table. So the table name I have given table without partition for YT demo. Why such name? Because in this particular external table, we have not applied any partitioning funda. So this will act a normal table. If we are applying certain filter condition based on year, then also it will scan the whole data because that external table don't know the year based partitioning. 
so here if we do limit 10 here if you see it is giving the data so the value column the first one is variant data type c1 to all the data points it is basically storing like json okay here you can see that same then in the individual column the data elements are stored and see there is no partitioning explicitly available only the data points are available okay now because we saw that in our external stage the data is available in year wise partition format so if we able to incorporate that and then if we filter based on year part for some particular query execution obviously that will improve the query performance right so we will see that so for this particular query performance check what we are going to do we are going to use one complex sql query which is having multiple grouping okay multiple sums we are doing some average we are computing some counts that we are computing and at the end because our this particular table what just now we created that is table without partition for yt demo suppose on that table we want to filter based on year part so directly we cannot do based on partition data but rather from the column we need to derive right so here if you see in our data there is a column called l dot shift date okay basically here see year month data there so suppose i want to extract only those data points which is having year greater than equal to 1998 so in that case that l dot shift date i am taking that i am basically splitting based on hyphen and then the first value in that splitted data i am taking so when this particular element 1992 hyphen 07 hyphen 14 will be splitted based on hyphen then first element will be 1992 second element will be 07 that is month part and the third element will be the date part right so based on year we are extracting and then here we are applying filter on that and then we are doing other group by order by operation okay so here we have already seen that shift date based partition is already there but in this particular table because the partitioning is not implemented so we need to derive like this way and get the results here. obviously i hope you can understand that it will scan the complete data now how to create the partitioning that let's see okay i will execute the query later so already in my previous video i discussed that metadata dollar file name give us the information that from which file the data is coming right and i also discussed that it is not like always we need to load the external stage data in a table and then query we can directly query from external stage also right so let's execute this particular metadata dollar file name from our external stage directly so if i just execute this kind of command let's see what kind of data it is giving it is basically giving me all the file names from where our data is coming okay so here because i have applied limit 10 so only 10 records it is showing so all are from 1992 partition only but from here you can understand that year part we are getting from the file name maybe if the file name we are splitting based on slash and then extract the second element then we will get that partition number right so that we are implementing here select metadata dollar file name as file name then here we are applying split part function to split based on this slash and then here the second element that is basically the first one is basically the folder name the next one is partition right so the second one we are extracting so that we will be getting only 1992 and that is basically our partition name where these files are sitting right and on that we are applying limit 10 so let's execute this query and if we execute here you see that this particular file is available in 1992 partition right that we are getting here so now this particular function that is split part metadata dollar file name slash 2 this is giving us from which partition the data is coming now this one we can use to create our partitioned external table okay so let's see how to create that partitioned external table so the table name i have given table with partition for yt table okay so this will be partition table the all columns definitions are same only only at the end if you see here i have added the file partition from where the file is coming from which partition that we are extracting from the file name first we are splitting based on slash and then the second element we are consuming okay and casting to integer because you can see these are integer columns year part only that is l dot shift date based on that only these columns are coming from year part and then here we need to mention that partition by file partition so file partition column we are deriving in this ddl okay from metadata dollar file name and that we are configuring while creating the external table this extra clause we need to add to tell snowflake that in external stage the data is partitioned based on this particular entity right so i will just run this particular code also 
So now we are having one table with partition and one table without partition. Let's execute the same query on both tables. Okay. So now we are using this particular aggregation query. We are applying on without partition. And here I want only information about those data points which are having the SIP date greater than equal to 1998 or in simple words year greater than 1998 okay so based on L dot date only actually our data is available but because this particular table is not partitioned so we cannot utilize the partition functionality we have to derive from L dot date okay so let's execute this query okay so this compiling and then here see query duration 6.4 second I will click on that and then I will open the query profile. I will discuss the query profile, but before that, let me execute the same query for our partition table. So here I have written the same query, only difference is here the table name I have changed and the table name is table with partition for YTDM. So let me run this one. And here it is executed. And let me open this particular query in a new tab. Okay. So the first one, this particular query profile, what we are seeing, this is from without partition table and this is with partition table. Okay. So let's try to understand what improvement happened due to partition. First, if you see the query execution time, total execution time in case of without partitioning is 6.2 second, right? But in case of partitioning, the query execution time reduced to only 2.1 second. So earlier it was 6.2 second. But now it is 2.1 seconds. So I hope you can understand that with respect to time complexity, the partition table is executing much faster, right? Not only that, let's come to the second point. If you see here the query profile, first table scan is happening and then filtering of data, then aggregation is happening. Okay. On which topic we are filtering? If you see our query, we are filtering only on file partition. Okay. In our partition table, and in case of without partition, we are only filtering based on file partition only, but the file partition is not directly available. So from that zip date column, we are extracting the year part and using that we are comparing. Okay. So here, if you see that filter query is the next step after table scan. So complete data it is scanning and then applying filter query, right? But in our this particular query profile, which is with partition, there see there is no filter stage because in the table scan only, it is scanning only that much partition, what query clause we have configured based on that, only the certain amount of partition data only it is consuming. So that filter data step is added in table scan stage only, right? So as a result, obviously, amount of data, how much it is scanning, that is also getting reduced. So let's see that. If you see here, in case of table without partition, the total amount of data scanned is 208.89 MB. But in our with partition case, the total amount of scanned data is only 23 MB. Okay, right. And here also it is showing clear statistics that how much total partition are available in our external stage for this particular case. There are 20 partition. How the 20 value is coming, I can show you. So see 1992. In this partition, there are three files. Okay. Then here 1993, here also three. Then here 1994, here also 3. Then here 1995, here also 3. Then here 1996, here also 3. And 1997, here also 3 files. And in 1998, there are 2 files. Okay. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In 6 years, 3 files each. So 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. And for the last year, we are having 2 files. So 18 plus 2, 20. Right. So Snowflake external stage is thinking that there are total 20 partitions and out of that when we are not applying partitioning then here total number of partition is anyway 20 but how much partition it is scanning all 20 partition it is scanning but in case of query with partitioning although the total number is 20 only but it is scanning only two partition which two partition those are basically within 1998 whatever two partition files are available those only it is scanning that's all no other partition it is scanning, right? So obviously the cost is also optimized with respect to this kind of partitioning because less data it is scanning, less amount of data it is processing. So obviously cost will also be less, right? Not only that, another very important point what you can observe that is most expensive node in case of query without partitioning 
they are basically first table scan is most expensive then filter is very expensive then aggregate is expensive okay but in case of with partitioning here filter stage itself is not there only table scan and then aggregation these are the most expensive step okay but anyway this table scan also is optimized than earlier version because it is scanning lesser volume of data right so i hope you understood the importance of partitioning in external table and obviously you can implement this particular optimization along with creating materialized view so that your query performance will increase in real projects right i hope you understood this all the codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section just try to play with it try to understand what is happening in what step you will be getting much more idea out of it if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section i will try to reply asap this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching